Hey guys, it's Hannah with the Heart Foundation and we are currently in the middle of a global pandemic. Yes, coronavirus is real. A lot of us are on lockdown, we are in our houses, and one of the major things that people are panicking about is food. We've all seen these videos on YouTube of people fighting over groceries or people hoarding groceries, and I posted the other day about the insane line outside of McDonald's. Look at this line of cars outside of McDonald's. So today, I decided that I was gonna raid my fridge, my pantry, and my freezer and show you guys how easy it is to make a quick and easy and healthful meal just using the things that you already have in your house. I'll tell you right now, this meal is not fancy. And I'll tell you again, I didn't go shopping for it. This is all stuff that I just had in my house and we're gonna put it all together to make something really delicious. If you don't have some of these ingredients, not to worry at all. Most of these things you can just substitute out really simply. And if you don't have them now, you can just start thinking about things that you would like to have on hand in the future. One of the easiest ways to keep your food delicious and flavorful and healthful when you're cooking at home is by really diving into your spice cabinet. I made a homemade taco seasoning, sodium-free chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder. I have paprika, I have cumin, and then I have Italian seasoning in there as well. And this is going to be the base of our flavor for our little, I guess we could call it a burrito bowl, or a little burrito bowl that we're gonna make today. Okay, first things first, I have some prepped sweet potato. If you don't have sweet potato, regular potato is fine. The reason that I love sweet potatoes is that they are incredibly high in potassium, so they actually help blunt the body's response to sodium. So your blood pressure won't go up. And you know whenever we're trying to live a heart healthy lifestyle, we're always trying to watch that sodium intake. American Heart Association says that we should consume less than a teaspoon of sodium every single day. People really like to lean on oils and fats to help brown things or to help get vegetables the correct consistency. But I'm actually gonna use some nonstick foil today so that I can use even less oil and fat, which is better for our hearts. The main reason that I'm using it is so that our spice blend sticks to our sweet potatoes. And all of these spices have some incredible heart healthy benefits, high in antioxidants, lower your cholesterol, lower your blood pressure, reduce inflammation, and actually chili powder, the, the spiciness, can even speed up your metabolism and help you lose weight. There's no salt in this mixture right here. And my trick when it comes to cooking a lot of times, especially with vegetables, is to add a little bit of salt at the end. And a lot of times when you put sodium onto vegetables when they're cooking, it draws out the moisture and it actually makes the vegetables a little mushy. But if we add sodium at the very end, that salt is gonna be one of the first flavors that we taste, which means we won't have to use as much and the consistency of our vegetables is gonna be better. We're just gonna toss these in the oven at 430 degrees for about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna take them out, toss them, throw them back in for 15 more minutes. put a pot of water on to boil. One of my favorite hacks at the grocery store is to get brown rice in the freezer. Yes, of course you can have it just in your pantry, but it oftentimes takes like 40 minutes to cook. This frozen brown rice takes like 10, 12 minutes to cook, it's awesome. The reason that I love using brown rice is that it's super high in fiber and it actually has been proven to lower your risk of heart disease. So, we're gonna make some brown rice. Now we're just gonna mix up some greens. Any type of leafy green is great. A lot of times we have frozen spinach in our freezer. That's something that's super common. You can always toss that in with your rice. That's a great way to get it in there. If you have any kale, or even if you have iceberg or arugula, anything. Greens are really high in potassium. They're really high in vitamins. They help your arteries function properly. They are amazing for your heart. I just have some chopped up romaine. Again, we're just gonna use a little bit of avocado oil. Very little. You can use any type of vinegar. If you have apple cider vinegar, if you have balsamic vinegar, you can pretty much use anything that you have in your cupboard. I just happen to have half of a lemon that I need to use up, so that's what we're gonna use. So next I'm just gonna add in some red pepper flake because I like things a little spicy. Some black pepper. Here's the thing. Me telling you not to use salt is unrealistic. Everybody likes salt. It tastes really good. It makes food taste amazing. But we're always just trying to limit our intake of it because it's better for our hearts. So just the tiniest little pinch goes a long way.
delicious. All the salad dressing usually is, is some type of oil, some type of acid, and a little bit of seasoning. It's so easy for you to make it at home, and it's way better for you. A lot of salad dressings that you get in stores have sugar, a ton of salt in them, have weird ingredients that you can't even pronounce. If you can make it at home, do it. We're gonna add in some black beans. You know, really high in potassium. We've already discussed why potassium is so amazing for your heart. They're really high in fiber, which also benefits your heart. And they're a really great source of protein. Not to mention, they're incredibly cheap. You can get them dried and prepare them and rehydrate them yourself, or you can get them canned. If you do get them canned, be sure to always get the low sodium version and then always rinse and strain them because that rinses off a lot of the excess sodium. And I'm just gonna dump it into my rice. Black beans are high in magnesium, they're high in potassium, and they're high in calcium. The humble little bean. Eggs are a pretty controversial topic in the world of heart health. A lot of people believe that they are too high in cholesterol, but the American Heart Association says that you can have one egg per day. So right now we're gonna have our one egg with this lunch. Most of us have them in our fridge. They're perfect for a time like right now when we're on lockdown. When we make them this way, we don't have to add any fat to keep the egg from sticking to the pan. Hey Google, set a timer for 6 minutes and 15 seconds. 6 minutes and 15 seconds. What a time to be alive. This is just rice and beef. We haven't added anything to this. So it really doesn't taste that great. We're just going to spice it up a little bit. Italian seasoning. All it is is dried herbs and it adds a ton of flavor and it smells so good. I'm just gonna add in as much as I feel like adding in, whatever looks good. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of cumin. Okay, so our eggs are ready. Very carefully, put them in the ice water. We are stopping the cooking process so that we're gonna end up with a perfectly cooked egg. It also helps with peeling the shell. I have half of a lime that I have left over. Smells so good. And now we're just gonna assemble. This is the point where you can start adding in whatever vegetables you have that are about to go bad. I have this tomato that I need to use up. These are just some sunflower seeds, roasted, no salt. Nuts and seeds are high in unsaturated fats. They help with your cholesterol levels, they help with your blood pressure, and they're really satisfying to eat. Last but not least, ah, pretty beautiful, right? And there it is. This is a complete meal. It has a ton of protein, it has a ton of nutrients in it. It's all heart healthy, it's low in sodium, and it all came from what I just happened to have in my fridge my freezer, and my pantry. This is completely quarantine approved. I know that we are living in chaotic times right now, and sometimes we just want food that is quick and simple and easy to get our hands on and inexpensive. But everything in here is very inexpensive. Most of these things you can find in your pantry. It's Remember, it's all about the spices. We never want to feel like we're depriving ourselves, right? I urge you, try to cook at home. This is a perfect time for you to try new flavors, experiment in the kitchen with your loved ones, stay safe with your family, remember to eat well, stay active, get lots of sleep, drink lots of water, and watch your sodium levels. I'm Hannah with the Heart Foundation. Remember, you're never too young and it's never too late to start living a heart healthy lifestyle.